Hello everyone and thank you for watching another video brought to you by International Key Supply. In this video I'm going to show you some of the solderless adapters offered by X-Horse. These adapters work with the new X-Horse Mini Prog and so I just got in a shipment of these uh, adapters and I'd like to go through and show you some of them. It's hard to see in the frame but there's several adapters that are available. So I'm just going to go through them here one at a time and uh, show you what we've got. This is going to be the first time that I'm seeing these as well. So this is going to be an experience for me too. I'm going to move several of these out of the frame here. and We're just going to work on these guys in the center for now. Okay, so it looks like we have Volvo SEM1 adapter. Quality looks good. The pins seem to be very rigid. That's good. Okay, so that was the Volvo SEM1 adapter. Looks like we have Volvo SEM2 adapter. <coughs> And again, these are all solderless adapters for EEPROM reading using the X-Horse Mini Prog. All right, looks like we have a <clears throat> Land Rover KVM adapter. So the next adapter is a Volvo KVM adapter. <clears throat> These pins have very nice sharp points to pierce with and uh, some of them are different shapes. I would assume the ones that have a broader point are going to actual traces on the printed circuit board that are larger diameter. Uh, but again, I'm seeing these for the first time as well, so that's just speculation. Okay, BMW CAS3, CAS3 Plus adapter. <clears throat> Looks like we have some nylon standoffs so that this board can be held down to the cast module uh, with these standoffs, I would assume. BMW CAS4, CAS4 Plus adapter. BMW FRM adapter. Again, we have some nylon standoffs, I assume, to hold the board down, hold this adapter down to the printed circuit board or PCB. We have Porsche BCM adapter. Okay. 
they're all using this uh, HD 15 connector and that's going to connect this adapter to the mini prog so you're going to remove the pogo pin adapter and then install that cable adapter from the mini prog to HD 15 and then you'll be able to connect these adapters Looks like we have a couple more here uh, we have a D80 35080 adapter. They also call it XDNP24. <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure of the application of this. A clamp adapter. <clears throat> okay. That's yet to be determined about this particular adapter. Here looks like EWS4 adapter. <clears throat> oh, okay, so it looks like this adapter here is going to adapt the uh, existing EWS4 adapter that uh, X-Horse already offers. So the cradle that uh, the EWS4 goes into, <clears throat> excuse me, is going to connect to this and then by way of this adapter connect to the mini prog and cable. There's also a couple of other adapters available. They are marked as dash adapters. I don't not, I do not know the application on these. I'm not sure about uh, whether they apply to our market or not. I'll just show you the labels quickly. There is a um, Honda Fit L dashboard adapter. <clears throat> Honda Fit H dashboard adapter. <clears throat> Sonata dashboard adapter, Kia K3 dashboard adapter, and Kia K5 dashboard adapter. Now I'm not sure about these dashboard adapters. I'm not sure their function. <clears throat> I'm not sure um, if they're immobilizer related or some other function. We'll have to learn that. I'm, I'm just seeing these for the first time, just like you guys are. Yeah, the immobilizer adapters that I showed you first um, are pretty clear what those are used for. Those are common modules that we're familiar with here when doing EEPROM programming to some of these vehicles. But these dash adapters, I'm not really sure. So uh, if you have any questions, please let us know. We'd be happy to help you. Uh, we appreciate you taking the time to watch this video with us. And we hope that you're enjoying our videos. And uh, we thank you and hope you have a good day.